Thanks, Frank. It hasn't happened since 1918, a total solar eclipse that will be visible across North America. And joining me now is Rachel Ward Maxwell from the Ontario Science Center. Rachel, welcome to the show. Thank you. I have to ask you, I know you're standing in a very specific, special place in the Science Center right now. Can you tell us where you are? Right now I'm in the Space Hall in the Ontario Science Center where we feature all things space and astronomy. And uh, with a total... I'm standing in front... Oh, Sorry, no, continue, please. Oh, I'm standing in front of our display here, which shows how the Earth orbits around our sun and then how the moon orbits around the Earth, which is significant when we're talking about eclipses. And this is a total solar eclipse, so can you explain to us what exactly that means? So a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Because the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun and it is 400 times nearer to us than the sun, they actually appear to be the same size in the sky. And so there are times throughout the year when the moon and the sun and the Earth all line up perfectly. And when that happens, you get the moon completely blocking the face of the sun. And that's a total solar eclipse. You can also get it partially blocking the face of the sun, which is what we will see in Toronto. So that's a partial solar eclipse. So we're getting, what is it, 70 to 75 percent here? Yes, that's exactly right. Okay. Now, uh, so we'll get a little bit darker, almost like dusk or like a, a large cloud is passed in front of the sun. With, um, with solar eclipses themselves, you know, obviously they're amazing to, to see, but you have to be kind of careful with how you view them, right? Like you, you have to wear special eyewear. Exactly right. You have to wear protective eyewear any time you look at the sun and sunglasses won't cut it. You need something that looks a little bit like this. So these are eclipse shades. Uh, you can just get paper ones. They look a little bit like 3D glasses. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. You can find them for a dollar, but dollar uh, or so. But the key thing is, is that they need to meet uh, certain certifications. So NASA's website has the details on that. Um, but it needs to meet ISO and CE certification in order to be considered safe. And you can be sure you have good ones if you look through them and if you can't see anything at all, you should see completely black. The only thing you should see is the sun, but much uh, less bright. Uh, and it's a special event. I, I'm going to put you on the hot seat here. Do you know the next time, I don't know the answer to this, do you know the next time that this will happen? Because it's a pretty rare event. So solar eclipses are certainly rare, especially over a given location. So for us, we haven't had an eclipse with this level of coverage since 94. Um, that's the annular solar eclipse in 94. I remember being kept in for recess for that one. Um, but the next total solar eclipse in Toronto will be in 2024. So wow. not too far out. Well, yeah, but still want to take advantage of this. That's still seven years away. Rachel Ward-Maxwell from the Ontario Science Absolutely. Center. Absolutely. Thank you so much for, for making time for us today. Uh, are you going to be out watching this one, or are, they, or are you staying in for recess again this time? Oh, no. I'll be out there, and anybody who wants to come to the Ontario Science Center can check it out with us, and we have a pair of these for you. Great. Now, we will link to the NASA website at breakfasttelevision.ca for everyone to get more information. Thank you, Rachel.